What's going on, you loyal listeners? Thank you for tuning in to the L Squared Podcast. I'm your host here, Luke Larson, and joining me today is um, no one in person. It's not just going to be me talking the whole time, don't worry. Um, we're actually going to be doing kind of a different episode. I know, uh, you know, last week I had, or last week, yeah, um, last last episode, I should say, we had Jack Draper on, he called in, um, that was nice, uh, had a good talk about Twin Peaks, and actually, the aforementioned Kyle is going to be on here, I think I brought him up because he was originally going to do that episode, but now we have him here, this is going to be the most different episode we've done to this point, um, you know, it was kind of as you know loyal listeners usually we stick to movies um and movie topics and we just kind of pick a topic and go um with this one we don't i'm not really sure uh kyle suggested doing something like a kyle takeover um so he's just gonna we're just gonna go just see what happens it is late i am tired and i have been complaining about that and being kind of a bitch about it um but you know Kyle is tenacious. So, here I am. But we're going to do it. And, yeah, I think it'll be good. We'll give him a call. Um, What do you need to know about Kyle? Kyle Goss from the Kyle Goss Project. Fwam, 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 It's supposed to be like like an air horn. Um, Kyle's a good friend of mine. You know, he's more into TV rather than movies. Uh, his favorite movie of all time is uh, The Crow from 1994, I believe. Um, yeah, overall, he's you know he's an okay guy, I guess. But you know what? Without further ado, let's just let's give him a call. Let's see what what he's up to these days. Okay, I don't know what just happened. Um, okay, well, maybe we won't talk to him. Let's try it again. Kyle, what's going on, man? I just got done peeing outside. Okay, I was wondering why it didn't go through when I called just now. Uh, that, that's the best part about living out in Colton. On the country. Yeah. Don't tell people where you live. Oh, now they're going to yeah, find you. Well, <laughs> town of 600 people, you know. Yeah. 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 Uh, but, okay. Well, that's the best part about living out in the country. Quote. There you go. Uh, you can pee wherever you want. There you go. We'll edit that out. That's no problem. <laughs> 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 the best part of living in beep, and then uh, we'll just kind of pick it up from there. Well, how was? All right. Let's re- let's restart that. So yeah, okay. yeah. So I was just peeing peeing out in the in the country. country. Yep. Very nice. How's the weather out in the country? Well, on the country, uh, it's still warm. Um, oh. Getting a little bit colder, but uh, okay. I feel like we're going to get about uh, four to six inches of snow out here. Tonight yet or tomorrow? Not tonight. Uh, I believe that starts tomorrow. Nice. About ready to shack up. Do your reenactment of The Shining. Scare your wife yep. and kid. Uh- I'm shacked up. I got I got uh, I got gasoline ready to go for the snow blower <laughs> and the snow cat for when I'm you gonna do blow some snow. That sounds like a fun day. Well, I'm gonna watch the Vikings beat Philly first, and then, and then I'll, I'll, I'll blow some snow on Monday. I got Monday off, so I was kind of hoping that we wouldn't. Uh... I feel like now that it's on tape, you might have just jinxed it right there. 
No, uh, I think I might have jinxed it earlier today. What? No, um, don't tell me that. Don't <laughs> keep going. I don't want to hear it. Just okay. stop there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. Good but, uh, Lord, I, guy. I uh, almost, well, I about jinxed it last weekend by, uh, um, so we had the, our uh, pre fantasy football, our post awards party for fantasy football last weekend. Mm. And, uh, you know, my coronation, because I was a champ. But uh, uh, we were watching the games, and uh, the Patriots were down 7 nothing, and, and my buddy bet me 100 bucks. He goes, I bet you 100 bucks that uh, the Patriots win. I was like, I'll take that bet. You're giving me, you give me 7 points. So, uh, uh, you know, they lost. And then he, mm. he was an idiot and said double or nothing. Vikings lose to the Saints. I was like, deal. So you can about imagine the gamut of emotions that I went through that last minute, you know. So you were almost out. You were almost out two hundred bucks. Yeah, almost out two hundred bucks, and my favorite team was about to fucking be. Can we swear? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I think <laughs> I swore in the intro. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I don't know the rules, so yeah. yeah I'm I'll, glad you. I'm so, glad you listened yeah, to the show. Bad. I appreciate that, that, Kyle. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Here's the, here's the thing, Luke. I'm gonna swear either way, whether That's we true. can or can't. <laughs> I'll just edit that out too. That's fine. There's not gonna be a lot of usable footage from from this. Yeah. Basically, all you hear is uh, beep beep beep, yep. you know, and then beep beep beep, and then I beep beep them, you know. And then it was, you know, hey, thanks for coming on, Kyle. Wasn't that great? And then we. <laughs> an excellent uh what an excellent podcast yeah <laughs> but i'm gonna play i'm gonna play the music here there it was that sound whatever i just have sound effects so i try and use them sometimes means that we're doing a very special episode here kyle one unlike any other we're uh treading is it treading new ground I, I, I think it would be, yeah. Treading? Yeah. I'm just making sure I'm using the right word there. We'd be treading new ground here. And, Kyle, being an avid listener of the show, you know that we mostly stick to movies and movie-related topics. Uh, last week we did TV, uh, which was new. And now we're going even... We're splitting the atom even more. We're just going to go into uncharted territory. As you as you said, we're doing a Kyle takeover. Hit the music. Yep. <laughs> there we go. I wish you could hear these two. Uh, you'd have more fun. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, can you like describe the music for me um, so that I like kind of know what's going well, on? <laughs> there's there's an icon for it on my board here. It's. It looks like a a man in a trench coat with a hat and evil eyes. Oh Jesus! So, so uh, <laughs> throwing it back to the Columbine, huh? Well, there's not a lot of icons to work with. Do you want to hear it again? It's kind of a. Uh, it's like a. It's it's kind of sort of creepy. I think. I don't know. That's perfect. That uh, that actually matches uh, your personality. You know. Yeah. Absolutely, yep. Anybody that knows me will agree with that. Yeah. And it just so happens that you're also a sex offender, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. Yeah, that is not true. Right. I've never been convicted. Sounds like a true sex offender would say that. I am I am not a red dot. I don't have to go around and uh and and tell people this shit. Mm. So that's a good day We're gonna edit bit. This, this part we <laughs> no. it out. Yeah. Oh, don't you worry. <laughs> I'll be in the. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. As you know, listening to the uh, to other episodes, we I just edit the shit out of this. You know, <laughs> it's just streamlined. There's no awkward pauses. That'll actually be the only part that's the, the podcast. And so Kyle is a sex offender. And that was, the episode. <laughs> that, was that was all the time we had. Thank you so much. <laughs> we told you it's going to be a different podcast. Now we're switching from movies to outing sex offenders. That's going to be yeah. the, the new topic. He is a he is a red dot in mm-hmm. your neighborhood. 
in uh, Blake, South Dakota. And we're and, and we're not talking about his hair color, there, folks. Hey, is there a laugh track on here? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, my wife's hair color is red, though. Oh, so she's the sex offender. She is definitely the sex offender, and uh, she's offended me sexually a bunch of times. And uh, I don't like it. I don't like it, Luke. You know what, it's wife? Not cool. Wife, I am you know. sexually offended right now. I cannot believe uh, you would do that to me. What I, what I like to call it is, you know, they, they call it hashtag me too. It's, you know, oh, but it used to be called the pound sign, so it's pound me too. Lord. So. so <laughs> I don't... <laughs> And that's all the time we have. Thank you so much, Kyle. <laughs> I don't, really don't want to uh, get on the hot button issues quite that early, I guess. But, well, but am, I, am I wrong? It used to be it was the pound time. Now it's the hashtag. you got to get so, into today's world, Kyle. You're, just, oh, you're always uh, living in the past. Well, I'm 36 years old. That's too old. Just call it. I'm not, I'm not too old. I just, I just don't know. Uh, I don't know all the the acronyms with whatnot. You know, in the NFL, there's retirement talk with you right now. You know, it's like <laughs> one uh, foot in the door. I got one foot in the you door. Know, he had kind of. He's had a couple down years. You know, does he still have it in him? Can he give us another Kyle Goss magic season, or you know, are we just kind of, are we going to overpay him? To keep him here, or should he go and be a backup somewhere else, you know, bring that veteran oh, leadership? Definitely overpay him. Definitely overpay him. I don't know. You know, but at 36, I've had, I've had a pretty good run, you know, you know, as far as, you know, I'm yeah. not, you know, running back, peak at 30. Yeah. Wide receivers, wide receivers can't play after 36, you know, so I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm like Brad Johnson, dude. Yeah, but you're a punter, though, Kyle. It's a different. <laughs> 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 you know, and I can't disagree with you on that. You know, yeah. consistent. You know, I put it. In, I put it in between twenty. Yeah. You know, you, you're like, you're like yeah, you're like Jeff Fegels, man. He played forever. Well, it's George Blanda played for a long time. He played quarterback and kicker. That's how he well, transitioned not, when yeah, he got older. I'm not. That, I'm not. I, yeah, I can't do that. I'm not that good. You know. <clears throat> oh, I know. Yeah, no, I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is this is the Kyle takeover. So wherever you want to lead us in this uncharted territory, that's up to you. Take oh. the reins. Oof. Oof. Now you put kind of put the spot on me there, even though I. Yeah, well, all right, I'll, 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 I'll <laughs> take it over. I'll take it over. <clears throat> Let me just. I just had to take a drink of beer there, quick. All mm-hmm. right, so. Right, You're not so, inebriated, are you, Kyle? Uh, next question. <laughs> I played the music again, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to sound so bad listening to it back. It's, it would have been funnier if I didn't say anything, and then you'd have to hear it later, but whatever. You know. <laughs> it's all part of the fun. So, uh, what I wanted to talk about was uh, how people how people act in their 20s now in the 2018s or whatever, the teens compared to the aughts, the early 2000s, right? You're saying how that's what I call they them. act they, the way they ought they, to. They, they, yeah. And, uh, so well, <laughs> without, call, without calling them entitled, I'm not going to, I'm not, you know, yeah, they're all, they all think they're entitled. This sounds like we'll, an attack on me personally. Is kind of not you. what this sounds not like. You. Okay. You're, you're like the oldest 22 year old. I, <laughs> I feel old, man. I'm just not good at being 22. I'm just, no, no I, you're not at all. Like, <laughs> I just can't do it. I mean, you get like uh, 22 going on 65. Yeah, big is, time. Is it time to retire yet, dude. I relate hard with my with my retired homies out there. Like, who doesn't want to sit around? Who doesn't want to get up and just drink coffee and eat pudding and, you know, sit in a reclining chair with a... With you know, a when, you, uh, when you when you said uh, eat pudding, I thought that was the only somewhere else with a, with a hard key on that, you know? <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm just imagining 
a retirement home full of, you know, people doing the business. <laughs> Apparently that's what they do. I mean, I can neither confirm nor deny just, just, that that happens. Just, just, just a bunch of old people yeah. mashing, mashing shit together, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's like, have you seen that Lonely Island uh, video? Do you know, Cal, hey, do you know what the Lonely Island is? Lonely Island. Yeah. Is that like uh Wait, is that Andy Sandberg? Yeah. yeah. I yep. thought yep. I thought I was gonna lose you there. <laughs> you were just a nope. little too old. Yeah. Um it is lo- lo- isn't it Lonely Island Boys? Nope. Just the Lonely Island. I think it's the Lonely oh. Island. Uh okay. Um there's one video of theirs. That's I think it's called Boombox, and it's weird. But there's this one part where uh, they just they just hold up a boombox and play it, and then wherever they go, things just go crazy. And they went to a nursing home, and the lyrics are literally like, "It was a bunch of old people kissing and fucking." <laughs> it's like it was, uh, yeah. That's 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 what I imagine retirement's like, right? Yeah. Otherwise, I'm I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. You because know? if my if I get more action in my normal working life, you know, than I do when I'm retired, why retire? You know. What's the <laughs> point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. So but, you're so you know, you're 36. So. I mean, are you getting, are you feeling a bit nostalgic for the odds? Are you fearing the upcoming dreaded, you know, midlife crisis? Oh, no. I, I, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I do, I, I never fear that. Um, uh, every year, obviously, I get older, you know. Um, Tends to happen, did, yeah. Yeah, because I did just reach 36 not too long ago. Um <laughs> Do I look back at it and go, yeah, yeah, I wish I was 22, sure. Hmm. But at the same time, you know, 36 ain't bad, you know. You have a wife and it, kid. You didn't have that when you were 22, you know. No, I didn't, and I didn't want to have that when I was 22 either. Hmm. And shit, as a matter of fact, I didn't even want that when I was 30, <laughs> when I met my wife. I thought you were going to say, when I called in, I didn't even want that. I called into this podcast. <laughs> I still don't want it. <laughs> Luckily, uh, hopefully my wife doesn't listen to this. No, but yeah. she won't. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She, she, she won't listen to it. She, she, she'll, she'll get like two minutes and then she'll be like, you're an idiot, Kyle. Yeah. Yep. Why are you mean? What? what you, you're drunk. And I'm like, yeah, yep. probably. Yep. But but yeah, when I shit when I even when I yeah, when I met her, uh I was just turning thirty. Like we started dating January first and I turned thirty on the fifth of January. And no, I was I was I never wanted kid, didn't want to get married and now I have a kid and I'm my wife. Yeah. So it was twenty twelve? Just right at the start of twenty twelve? Yep, 2012, yep. Look at me on the quick math over here. That was really good, yeah. Thanks. Well, that's pretty easy to figure out. Look, teams. Kyle, I don't need any commentary after I do that, you know, just... Oh, I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I was born in 1982, uh, fourth season of Dallas that's came a, out. That's one of the best years for sci-fi movies. Blade Runner, E.T., The Thing... Listen, uh, um, we're not Star talking, Trek we're not talking, Into Darkness, not Into Darkness, <laughs> The Wrath of Khan. I mean, we're not we're not talking movies today. <sighs> I know. This, this is a Kyle takeover. I know. I can't help, I can't help it. <laughs> I know. It just it just it's just like uh, the reaction. Yeah. Um, if we're gonna talk anything. We're gonna talk Dallas. Oh God. Because Dallas is coming up on its 40th Ooh. anniversary, but. <laughs> I wish there was a boo button on here. It, it, really? 
Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not going to tell you what button I hit. You'll have to listen to it back. I'm, I'm just going to say one thing okay. right. about Dallas. I'll say one thing about Dallas, and then, we'll, and, then we'll, and then we'll move on. Dallas created the cliffhanger for TV shows. Had it not been for Dallas, there wouldn't be TV shows. Also, also, TV actors wouldn't get paid what they got paid had it not been for Larry Eggman. Okay. Alan uh, J.R. Ewing. Well, it's, it's that, guy, like... that, guy, that guy set the standard for what people got paid for in television because of the Who Shot J.R. episode. The most watched, one of the most watched, uh, 25 million people tuned into that. Feel like those, Twenty-five million. I feel like you're going on three things now instead of just the one. Yeah, I know. I, you know, I'm gonna have a Dallas fan. But hey, it's your <laughs> show. It's your show now, so go for it. And and they're coming on their 40th anniversary. So, do you call it an anniversary when they're not on the air? No. No, it's it's 40 years since it started. So. Okay. 1978, April of 1978. That was a uh, not as good of a year for movies, but yeah, you know, whatever. <clears throat> see, yeah, see, no, nah, you revert back to movies. See, you just go back. <laughs> you just go right back to movies. That's all I know, you know. And then I just, I just hit you with a well, Dallas. You yeah. know, like, we, I just we know can do this, we, can do this, we can do this all the way to 1991. I know movies. And football um, history, NFL history. So those are my two things. That's all I got in life. You know? uh, you got a few more things than that, but thanks, Kyle. Can well, we, I, is there a? I couldn't. Come, I couldn't come up with what you had. Mm. I just threw something. <laughs> You're like, I'm, there's got to be something else. <laughs> Most people have more than two. I was hoping you would maybe come up with. Another one, but no, I don't have. Know. I don't have what experts would call a high self-esteem. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this gets really depressing. But 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 uh, who are the experts, Luke? Who are the experts? Other than That's other than Joe point. Rogan. Oh God! I specifically the... said there was no Joe Rogan talk on this podcast ever. <laughs> Never and, and now... to his name. And now let's uh, now let's take a time to uh, plug our sponsor on it. Uh, I just took an alpha brain, so uh, I'm focused. That's O N N I T, right? O N N I T. Yep. Use offer code squared at checkout to get ten percent off. No, go with yeah. uh, go with uh, go with the code. Ro- go with uh, the the it's, it's Rogan. No, I. Um, no, well, when it's on my, no, cause uh, oh. I, I, see, I want the ad money, not Joe. So if we just tell him that it's mine, then yeah. <clears throat> yeah, just go right. with, uh, uh, just plug in the L squared, L squared, um, yep. L squared, mm-hmm. 15% off. Yeah, that sounds like, all a, your purchases. That sounds like such a good deal, you know? Yeah. I mean, oddly enough, I'm, I'm actually wearing not a t-shirt. That's like all you have though. You know? Well, they're, they're, they're very nice t-shirts. You have, you, know? you have three on a t-shirts, and then you have two American Eagle V-necks. That's, that's your t-shirt collection. For the listeners, they're, they're not V-necks. They're, they're, they're a low V-neck. They're uh, a low V-neck at best. Low V-neck. Fucker. So you're seeing what would be his chest hair, you know, p- creeping right in and out. No, it's not even that low. You can eat it. <laughs> just, just, just to clear it up, I, uh, I, I don't have any chest hair. There we go. <laughs> I'm like one of those. Uh, I'm like one of those cats mm-hmm. that don't have hair. Like uh, Doctor Evil's cat, Austin Powers. Yeah, that's a movie. Yeah, there you go. Let's see, everything ties into a movie with you, Mister Bigglesworth. Man, His name is Mister right. Bigglesworth. Right, right. I, I mean, I, I, got, I mean, yeah. Uh, I got a little bit of hair, but it's. Uh, no, you're right. Uh, I'm a bald. Yep. I'm a bald. Yeah, like a baby. You're kind of like you're kind of like Bill yeah, Burr like my, uh, b- before like he shaved his head. 
Your daughter is what? have a lack of hair. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Well, she's she's growing it out. Did you uh, did you see the did you see the um, Twitter? No. Uh, no. The tweet I put put it on Twitter. No. Oh, 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 let me let me explain this. To you. This is good. This is a this is a proud dad moment. So, um, her and her mom are up at uh, um, their uh, Nikki's parents' house tonight. You say her name. Uh, I can't say my wife's name. I don't know. You can, but I just don't want like people tracking her down. You know. I don't know. Oh no! No one's gonna track her down. Okay. Ain't, ain't nobody gonna. Ain't nobody gonna find. Beep. Yeah. South Dakota. You know. Yeah. But uh, so they're up there, and uh, I get a. And Nikki's like, oh, uh, you gotta, you gotta see this. My mom took a video, and you gotta see this. And then all of a sudden, she sent this video, and then Stella, um. You know, I'm a huge UFC fan, right? You know that. So um, it, it ends up that Stella is uh, working like, and for anybody that who's listening that doesn't know what rubber guard is, isn't going to get this. But she's working the rubber guard, but the blanket got caught up in there. But she got out of it, and then and uh, her cousin, who's two years older than her, chased. She chased him down. Actually, she he went around, and, and she cut him off, and uh, caught him. Took him down with a with a with a power double, power double for wrestlers, and then uh, um, threw a pretty pretty good left right into his face. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, proud dad moment. I was like, oh my goodness. How old is she? Uh, she'll be two in March. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, we we watch a lot of UFC together, so... She's picking up on it. Yep, she... I mean, when we watch it, she she watches it. Every morning, you have a... You have a slow-motion Rocky training montage with her. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking raw eggs and running in slow motion. <laughs> Chasing chickens around the backyard. Yeah. Yeah, and good old bleep, South Dakota. You're gonna eat. You're gonna eat. You're gonna eat, uh, you're gonna eat lightning crap thunder. Yep. Mickey. Yeah, you know he had a lot of quotes that weren't like. I remember one year in high school for acceleration, um, we would always get T-shirts made, and then there'd be a quote on the back of it. And one year it was uh, it was a quote from Mick, and I don't. Now I can't remember what it was because it was so stupid, but it like didn't make any sense. And we and everybody kept reading it over and over. We're like, I don't understand how it's like supposed to be inspiring. Well, if you don't know the quote, then I can't. It doesn't help. I, 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 I'm a huge. I watch. I watch all the Rockies. Let me you know, look it up. You, it's like you can't it quit. You don't quit. You can't quit. There's some sh- bullshit like that. Don't you quit on me? Something like that, maybe. Yeah, but not know. even that good. Like, I'm just gonna look it up because it would make much more sense. Not. We, we, we need. We need. You know what we need on this podcast, Luke? No. We need a guy that looks this stuff up. Yeah. Well, thanks. Fucking bring him in then. Well, Jesus. Uh, your podcast. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, uh, I'm not footing the bill, guy. Huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everybody thinks such a high-class operation. Oh, man, where is it? I'm telling you, it's no good. It's, uh... Oh, man. I'm not really getting a lot here. I just, uh, what are you, uh, just Googling R- Rocky Holtz or what? Yeah, pretty much. Most of them are probably going to be from... No, I Googled, I Googled Mickey quotes Rocky. Oh, there you go. And, uh, yeah, it's not, uh, I don't, uh, don't see it. Well, 
Do you remember the quote? Well, if you saw it, you'd remember it. Right, right. Well, yeah. No, yeah. And now I'm just wasting a bunch of time, and nobody's going to give a shit. And, uh, yeah, you know? It was something like, it was something like, I, I just wish I could remember, because it was so bad. It was like, you don't quit, you can't quit. There's no quit. Or some, it was so stupid. It made no sense. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't, no. I can't remember. You can't quit. Was that Rocky fucking three? With the... Yeah, I think it was. I don't think it was the first yeah. Rocky. No, it was uh, Rocky three with uh, Clever Lane. Yeah. Mr. T. No, I What? Yeah, right? Rocky three with Clever Lane? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, Hulk Hogan was in that. Thunderlips is what he was called. Okay, sure. And for professional wrestling fans out there, Hulk Hogan was in that movie. Guys, it's not, Thunderlips. not, a, it's not a real dick guy. <laughs> can, we just, can we just edit out the professional wrestling one then? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Good. All right, cool. That's all I'm going to so edit, though. So, so there's going to be a lot of editing out of this uh, podcast, so it's going to be about about two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> this is my friend Kyle, and uh, a good, good podcast. Yep, that was it. <laughs> you know, he's not as bad as he sounds, but, you know, he grows on you after a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, pay, pay, no, pay no mind to his high voice. No. That's just how we talk. Come on, Kyle. Do I have a high voice? No. Do I sound like that? Well, people say that my voice is high. Who has said that? I haven't said that. I don't think. No, you, you've you never said that. Not no. to your face, but at least. But when you, when, you, when you play the... <laughs> 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 Not to your face. <laughs> but when you play this back, you're like, Jesus Christ, I didn't know I was talking to a 13-year-old no. boy. Well, everybody thinks that. No, like, when I hear my voice, I'm just like... You sound so dopey. Like you just sound like a dumb, just a dumb person. I don't like that. But I don't know your 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 voice sounds. Like, you got like a you got like the perfect podcast voice. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. I don't think so, but. Uh, well, I I'll mean, take... yeah, you're right. You, you don't sound like Joe Rogan. But... <laughs> right. No. Now there's <laughs> the epitome of God. I'm still looking for it, honestly. Like, I was on wiki quotes, and I swear at every line of dialogue. I'm just like, give me something here. I'm on Rocky 3. I don't, I, don't, I don't know why you didn't keep the t-shirt. You should have just kept the t-shirt. No, man. I never bought one, because I thought it was stupid. And wow. it was, and let me explain it to you. It was a neon green t-shirt, and the front of it was like one of those tuxedo t-shirts was what it was supposed to be. And then the back of it oh. had that quote on it. Oh, Jesus. No, yeah. wonder, no wonder you got rid of it. Yeah, I, I, I mean, yeah. I get it. I mean, I was like, no, there's no way I'm paying money for that. Why would I? Whatever. <laughs> you know what? I'm, uh, I'm not fucking paying money for this no, shit. No, it's stupid. I was like, no, I will literally never wear that, ever. But then there were a couple people, uh, Brock, Kyle... That made it into a cutoff and wore it for like years, years and years, and shamelessly, to be honest. And where are those guys now? Dead. No. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. I was gonna say shoveling like a rocket at some some quarry, but yeah, yeah, yeah dead. Wish. Yeah. <laughs> dead. Yeah. Hey, guy can dream, all right? My mom, uh, my mom wears this, uh... I you say, my, my mom is I don't know if you remember this, because you're kind of young, but the, 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 the Budweiser, what's it? Remember that? No. No? All right. Just well, know anyway. from Scream, or not from Scream, but from the movies make fun of Scream, like Scary Movie. When the killer calls and he's high and he's like, "What's up?" Yeah, that, well, that was a Bud, that was a Budweiser commercial during one of the Super Bowls. Oh, yeah. But, oh uh, yeah. Okay, I think I've okay, seen that there you before. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, yeah. all I had to throw it. Think football and movies, man. Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> literally all I know. I fucking triggered it. Oh, I said football, Super Bowl. Yep. Boom, I got it. Oh, I, know, I know what you're talking about. 
Yeah, then the old the ones and zeros started flowing in, in my head. Yep. <laughs> but she has, she has this like fuck. It's neon green. It's just what's that? And she's been wearing that thing since from I I don't know ninety eight. I don't know. Your mom. Nice. My mom. Never give it up. Can yep. can I guess your mom's name? Yeah, go ahead. Hmm. Shall we? No, wait. I'll, okay, that's one guess. I'm gonna give you three guesses. Okay. Shelby is not not it. No, I actually said Shelly, but either way, that's oh. fine. Oh well, Shelly's not it either. Okay. So don't guess Shelby because obviously Shelby's not it either. So. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna say. God, what's like a really pleb girl name? Rachel. Uh, a pleb? You think my mom's a pleb? No, I said what's a really pleb girl name? Uh, Isn't the name Rachel is a fucking pleb name? Now, 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 think think about it. She was born she in was 1958. Born. Sarah. Nope. Fuck. Well, you're you're all out of guesses. That's it. That's all the time it's, we have. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next week. For, uh, <laughs> <the hanger. laughs> yep, that's right. Dallas, uh, Tune in next week to find out what Kyle's mom's name is. Come back on. It's Catherine! And then that's the whole episode. <laughs> it's not Catherine. <laughs> Damn it. Close, though. Not close, but cl- close because, you know, that fits the era. I'm I'm out of guesses, so. My mom's name is Deb. I, that was my first guess was gonna be Deborah, honestly, but what I was like, what, then why didn't you fucking say? It? Because <laughs> we work with a Deb, and I wasn't. I was like, I feel like you would have said that at some point. That, you know, your mom's also name is Deb, but whatever. Can you? Uh, I'll let you redeem yourself. I'll give you three guesses. My dad's name. Are you gonna let me name Aaron. Name Aaron. Yeah. Now picture a mustache. He, he he rocks a mustache. He rocks a well. Still? No. Does he still have a no. mustache? No. You, you, you just fucking shot your load on Phil, didn't you? Mm. <laughs> it's not Phil. Not Phil. No, I said still. Does he still oh, yeah. rock the mustache? Oh, he's been rocking the mustache. And, yeah. Wow. Well, for at least 36 years. I, yeah, no, yeah, actually, no, he had his mustache. They got married in 1976. He had a mustache then. Damn. So. Well, I know it's not Phil, even though that wasn't my guess. Oh, yeah, so not Phil. All right, so <sighs> you, got three, you got three more guesses. I don't know. Let's just fucking guess the vowels here on Hangman. John? No. <sighs> Yep, that's the thinking noise. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> Wilbur. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's not my grandpa. <laughs> yeah, I have a grandpa, Wilbur, that I don't speak to. So, oh, yeah, grandpa named Wilbur. Yep, and I don't talk to him. So, Wilbur, if you're listening to this, fuck you, all right? <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Wilbur. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Okay? You're such a piece of shit. You... He's, like, he's, like, he's like the one guy that listens to the fucking fuck. <laughs> Dude, he doesn't even know. He has no... I don't, I don't even think he knows that an internet is a thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, well, he probably listened to us now. He's just like, you know what? I'm fucking tuning out. Fuck Luke. Good. I haven't talked to you in years, so let's keep that going. Let's march that all the way down to the grave. Let's keep that streak going. I don't know what you say. God, what was that? That got fucking... That got fucking... Wow, Luke. I don't hold back. That got dark. All right? Nice. I like it. That's, That's... that's, 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 that's the Luke I like. Yeah, this is this is the after the hours one. Luke. The dark, all right, one. this is the dark, <laughs> one. you got me up past my bedtime. This is the one that comes out. 
Yeah, see, that's why I wanted to do the podcast at this time, right? <laughs> making, I knew what I was getting out of you. You're I knew making I was a mistake. Let me think. All right, think of think of famous people with mustaches. Ooh. There's only a few. Yeah. Mm, Tom. Nice. Nice. Is that his name? Yep, that's the Fucking name. Fucking right. Think, think, think Tom, Tom Selleck. Selleck. Think of, yeah. Yep. The greatest Fuck mustache yeah. of all time. Oh, yeah. My mom is in love with Tom Selleck, and that's why I'm pretty sure my dad has a mustache. <laughs> pretty, Poor guy. Pretty sure that she made him grow the mustache. Keep the fucking mustache. Yep. I mean, it's not, it's not as good as Tom Selleck. But no. few are. Who's it? Yeah, exactly. You know, that's, yeah. that's interesting that your mom digs mustaches because there's actually a study that has shown that that's females' least favorite facial hair of men is just a mustache. Now, what, uh, now what, what are we talking about the generation, though? Right. No, I mean, I think it's across all of them. But I just think, I, I mean, I don't remember, but I... I just think the mustache kind of represents like the '70s and kind of like the big frame glasses and the I don't know the the yeah, but like at the same time, but it's also like the mustache has also gotten that creepy like pedo fan too. You know? <laughs> you're you're right. I mean, you're like not, my you're my not wrong. my buddy, you know he he can grow an okay beard, but he grows a thick mustache and for a while he just had the mustache and he was like and he has glasses and he was like dude i swear like people just stared at him all the time and glared at him constantly how could they not how could they not right so i don't know unless your mustache is like phenomenal you're gonna get looks you know not good ones not good ones I, I, I tried to grow a mustache in honor of my dad, and uh, I couldn't. Yeah. Obviously, you, you, well, well, you know, my facial hair. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I just looked like a head of van. Yeah. Tinted windows. Yeah. And I don't even own a van. Right. Because you had a mustache, you had to get rid of it. You, know, you can't have both. Yep. It's one or the other, you know, and I yep. don't know why I bought this van in the first place, so I might as well just get rid of it. <laughs> I kept the van. Got rid of the mustache. Uh, I messed that up. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's try that again from the top. <laughs> cut all that out. Look, we got to make me sound funnier, all right? I'm the funny guy, okay? All right, well, we'll, 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 just, we'll just edit it. We'll just edit it. Don't worry. It's we too can late. edit it. <laughs> Cutting out the whole thing. <laughs> all the names and everything. <laughs> Going all the way back. No, like I I can grow an okay beard, but I can't my I can't do a mustache either. Like it just doesn't come in. I know. Your 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 beard is your beard is blurry. Thank you. The the mustache, yeah, is lacking. Has work to do, you know. But I mean, but no one notices that because your beard is blurry. Yeah, and it took a long time. You know, I'm 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 telling you, all you young guys out there who are starting your facial hair journey, you know, I didn't just show up here. You know, took a lot of work, went through a lot of really bad facial hair for a long time. All I could do was a neck beard that didn't even really come on my face. It, you know, it was just come on your face. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have to do I some said. heavy. We're gonna have to do some heavy editing on this one. We don't. Well, you said come, you said come on your face. So, I did, you know. and it was a nice clean audio too. Like somebody could cut that out pretty easily. There wasn't any background. You know, it was just me, and I. There were no. It's not like they. It's not like it's gonna come out as come on my face. It was literally that wouldn't even come on my face. Is what I said. Well, we, but <laughs> we could edit it to make it sound like you. That come on your face. Right. Doesn't even... Oh, come on my face! Like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it would sound like. <laughs> oh, oh, Brad, why'd you come on my face? Or whoever. Who is Brad? Who is Brad? <laughs> this is the first name that... It was one of the leftover names I thought of to guess for your dad. I didn't, so I used it there instead. Brad? 
Brad. I was I was born in eighty two. My dad's name is definitely not Brad. Look, I don't know when names start and stop. I have my my two names are New Testament. So how old is that? You know. Oh, that's old. Yeah. Do you know Do you know what my name was supposed to be? Um, and I, I, I I am I am long, well, but you you'll never guess it. I'm just gonna tell you. Is it Dennis? And I'm mad. I am mad that they didn't that, they, that my parents didn't name you this. So it's not Dennis. It's not Dennis. Fuck. All right, go ahead. Close, close, close. Um, they were gonna they were gonna do a an homage to my. Burp, that's burp. To you burp. that out, right? No. No, no editing. No, no we editing. used up all our edits. We only have so many we can use per episode, so. <laughs> we got a, working on a budget. Here. Yeah. But, uh, my grandpa's, my, I got, my grandpa's, I got two grandpa's, I get well, obviously I got two grandpa's, right? Yeah. Uh, one is, uh, Odin, and one is Patrick. They're going to call me Dean Patrick Goss. That's pretty strong. I'm right? Yeah. And then when I found out that they were going to do that, I got I got super mad. I just found this out like a year and a half ago. Wow. Yeah, I got They mad. went with... And then you, you went Kyle? You went with Kyle? <laughs> they, yeah, you went with... Oh, Kyle. Yeah, right? Dean Patrick yeah. Goss. <laughs> Dean, How far... Dean I could have been a movie star. Dean Patrick Goss? For Christ's sake. And you would have to go by the full one, yeah. Dean Patrick Goss. Dean. Oh, and, and that's how many how Deans do you know? Myself. Yeah. And everybody knows how to spell Dean, and I don't even know if I know a Dean personally. Like that's the that's the greatest. That's a great name. See? Like I feel like I like Luke, but it is a little bit. It's become more common, probably from well, Star Luke, Wars. But Luke, Luke, Luke is a common name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I it, it, I have met a couple exotic. of Luke's. It is not exotic. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows how to spell it. It's easy, and you know, every every time somebody meets you, they say, "Luke, I am your father." And me being a movie fan, every time, like you're misquoting it. It's not even the right quote. You know, he never says it. He says, "Obi Wan told you wrong." No, I am your father. He never says, oh, Luke, no. I am your father. He never says that. Nerd. Nerd. I mean, he says, Nerd. Search your feelings, Luke. You know it to be true. I like when people say that to me. Because that's a real quote, you know. And it's, more, and it's more applicable to real life, you know. How many, how many, how many, people, how many people say that to you, though? One person did. And I appreciate him to this day. <laughs> So, you know it to be true. Yeah, he said he said it verbatim. Search your feet because he's he was a manager. He was my man, one of my managers at a previous employment, and he said something about, "Hey, can you go in the back and do this?" And I was like, "Do I do I does that really? Do I really have to do that?" And then he said that he said search your feelings luke you know it to be true and it was so perfect were you were you uh working on quote unquote six days (laughs) yeah we're getting (laughs) insider baseball there but yes he was making sweet love to my rectum that's what was on (laughs) (laughs) and then i said oh come on my face (laughs) <laughs> and he said he's like and I said he said Luke I am your daddy he didn't say father. I am your daddy <laughs> just, just throwing rope right all over your face just like yep. wow yep and when he came and made the lightsaber noise, it was like, Psh! That was cool. So did you get the raise that you wanted then? No. <laughs> no, he, he didn't talk to me ever again. Yeah, I wouldn't either, man. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. If I'm going to throw a rope in your face, that's it. That's, we're done. I'm talking. 
for yeah. Doc. And, I mean, look, I tried. I wore more revealing clothes. You know, I dropped stuff around him and bent over to pick it up. Picked it up. You know. Picked it up all sexually. Yeah. When his wife called, I hung up the phone and, you know, <laughs> I, I did everything I could, but, you know. Why would you hang up the phone? You, you should just sit there and breathe. It was like an erotic thing. Like, he picked it up and then I pushed the the hang-up thing. What's that called? The. It was an office phone. He picked it up. He said, hello, wife, and I hung it up. And looked at him in the eyes. <laughs> now, now you need to you need to tell your listeners, mm-hmm. our listeners, whatever the L Square listeners, that you didn't even want to do this podcast tonight. That's true. No, I made. Hey, I didn't. I didn't. I said it in the beginning. I said it in my I'm intro. Tired. I'm tired. For the record, I'm still tired. Oh well, hey, fuck it. <laughs> you know, we kind of we kind of went off from your whole. Uh, do you have Do you have some kind of war that you want to wage against the quote unquote younger generation? Because I hate to break it to you, I feel like you are actually a millennial as well. <clears throat> fuck you! Fuck you! I'm gonna fuck look it up. You. I'm gonna look it up. I'm... No, no, fuck you. I'm. I'm... No, no, because they keep moving it. They keep. I'm Generation X, bitch. You don't even know <laughs> no what that matter. means. I'm all night day fucking too. I am not a goddamn millennial, and I'll be goddamn somebody calls it calls it that. Well, I get called it every day. Well, because you fucking are. Guess what, bitch? Define millennials as born between 1982 and 2004. You're on Suck. the cusp, motherfucker. Suck. My motherfucking dick. You are a millennial just like me. No, no. And we're no, happy to you. have you. We're happy to have no. you, man. There's plenty no. of room. Just free love, man. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a, well, the only reason you want me is because it fucking classes up the fucking millennials a little bit. Well, I am not a goddamn millennial. Well, millennial wasn't even a thing when I was fucking born. According to... Millennial wasn't even a thing... According to William Strauss and Neil Howe, that's who set the year. Uh, Who the fuck are they? uh, Famous demographers, demographers, I don't know how you pronounce it, from Pew Research Center. Oh, shit. Well, goddamn, I am that, I guess. Yep, (laughs) you are. Confirmed. (laughs) You gotta rethink your life, son. No, you don't. You know what? Here's a here's a deal. Here's here's, here's some. Can we edit that burp out? No, I told you we're we're done. We're past all that. Look, here's the deal. You don't know what it's like to have everybody shit on you all the time and just say, "Hey, you're a shitty generation. You're the worst. Millennials are the worst." You probably heard it when you were younger, but I did. I happen to think. And even though, as we established, I'm not good at being a millennial. I'm not good at being a 22 year old person. I'm, I would you're say, like a, I'm the exception like a, to the rule. You're like a, you're like a, you're like a baby, baby boomer. Yeah, I am totally. Yeah, 100. <laughs> percent And I've always felt like that. But it's like I can still look at millennials and see all the flaws and everything everybody dwells on. But I think there's a lot of other positive things that you can look at too you know i'm a little bit more optimistic but you know there's good and there's bad the nice part is that now us i guess millennials are getting older so it's not like we're all it's not like we're all teenagers anymore we're becoming real members of society thus enacting change or starting to and so well and 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 excuse me on this one but you, you, you are personally. I don't think you're well. Obviously, generation wise, you're obviously you're a millennial, but you, you don't act like that. Uh, um, I don't think that your generation is sparking a change in anything, other than, other than, I don't know. We're entitled to this. We're entitled to that. Um, I don't feel like I should have to work forty hours a week. You know. And that's that's what that's what fucking millennials are. Okay. Am I wrong on that? 
Well, didn't didn't the generation that had it you say that to you when you were this age too? No, we we no. I guarantee you, they said those exact same words about you. No, I, I was going. I was going to college. I was going to college. I'm not saying time. you. I'm saying your generation. No, all my people, all, all my friends. Uh, and, and, well, I don't know. I suppose I, I maybe, but anybody that I knew, we were all fucking working full time and going to college full time. And uh, we didn't uh, expect anything to be handed to us. What it, all it is is expecting shit to be handed to us. And uh, without nanny our workplace, you can see that, can't you? Yeah. And I was going to say, if you actually said it, I would actually have to edit it out. Yeah, uh, no, <laughs> so no, no, good. no. Thank you for saving me that time. No, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. <laughs> that would be bad. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not yeah. yeah. No, man, I, I look. Can, no, but I. Yeah, I look around and I see it too. And I, I, the problem for me is that like, I'm also part of them. So like, you get upset there, at there, them, but there are there there are, you know he, he classify yourself as a millennial, you know. Yeah. Like, obviously, because that's just where you were born through. Yeah. But you're not a millennial. You're not. You don't. You don't take the same. Is they, they they okay? They have no work ethic. Yeah. They they want everything handed to them. Sure. And who doesn't? I mean, yes, I would love everything handed to me, but uh, everything that I've gotten, I've worked for, and and that's the way it should fucking be. Yeah. No, I mean, when things are handed to you, and I'm not gonna sit here and say nothing's ever been handed to me, but like, I you know, I definitely went through a point in my life when. It wasn't very long, but it was a point where my parents were doing well, and I started to notice it a bit. My mom's always been extremely tight, budgeted, and cheap about everything, so that never really changed. But there was like, there was a couple years there, growing up, where they were doing well, and yeah, it was just kind of, I don't know, it was a little shift. But like when things are handed to you. I'm not saying, like, we were just super wealthy, you know, or anything at any point. But, right. like, you know, at that point it was, like, you do take things for granted and you can't you can't really enjoy them as much because your, your expectation level goes up because things are given to you. And, you know, we basically went from that to, like, not doing well pretty much since then. Um, and then after, like... You know, we started to have the hard years was when it was like you started, it was a lot harder, but you appreciated things more. But I mean, I do also look around and see like, I don't know, some people that have always been well off and they're some of the nicest people I've ever known. Honestly, like they come from really, really substantially wealthy families and they're great. They're really wonderful people. You know, I mean, I've seen that too, so. And, the, and, well, and, that, and that's how they're raised, though. It's all about yeah. how you're raised. Sure. But I, I could have a million dollars a year, right? Let's say, uh, let's say I make a million dollars a year. Yeah. Or I make fucking $15,000 a year. Yeah. No matter what, my daughter's going to come up fucking... She's going to be punching her cousin in the face, taking him down. Yep. yep. <laughs> taking him down, working the rubber guard. Yeah. Beating him up a little bit, you know, because yeah, that's, how, for that that's how she's raised. She didn't, yeah, she didn't, she didn't expect him to just lay down and give her that fight. She, she took no. it to him. Yeah, well, not, she's not born with a silver spoon in her mouth or whatever, the, whatever it's called, that whatever. Right, you yeah. know, is that right? Not silver spoon, right? Yeah, in the and, mouth or hand. I, I've heard both, but I think it's probably mouth because spoons usually go in mouths. <laughs> And hand, too, though. Yeah. Well, <coughs> well we're definitely going to have to edit that out. I don't yeah. know what that was. I just puked in my mouth, dude. <laughs> that was real. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Are you drinking? No. Oh, well, I'm, I'm literally just sitting here. <laughs> I don't. 
I'm see I'm old. My body's falling apart. <laughs> this is what happens when I don't go to bed on time. <laughs> on time. You're twenty two. What is on time should be whenever the fuck I pass out. Yeah, I know. But that's one of the things I have this superpower that people hate me for. It's just an off switch, you know? It's like I'll lay down and within two minutes I'll be asleep. Not even two minutes. I'll just be asleep. Like, it's, like oh, it's bedtime, lay down, and I'm out. And then I get up. But if for whatever reason I – because I can feel it when it's going to happen. You know, I feel when it's going to – when the light's going to go off. But if I no. stay up past that point where I don't just let myself fall asleep, then I have – trouble falling asleep it's the yin yang uh, of the superpower it's my that's, uh, that's interesting that you say that i uh i can i can i can same the same way um when i'm laying in bed i uh this is weird i don't know if any any other listeners out there uh can feel this but uh i start i start to get a little bit of a shake going on before i fall asleep like a physical shake? Yeah. Like yeah. you're cold or something? No, no. They're just a uh, little shake. Like a... Uh, like w- when you but, wake up in the morning and you're not no, really no, cold, but no, you just like I'm, randomly I'm, shake? No, 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 no. Right, like, like right when I'm falling asleep, I, I start to shake. That's... I've No, I don't know what that is. Well... I, uh, you can I probably see your doctor. Oh, uh, Kevin Bacon. Tremor. Kevin Bacon. Got it. Not, not, <laughs> and now it makes not, sense. Everything goes to a goddamn movie with you. <laughs> Boing, <laughs> you know, everything goes to a movie. No, it's, a, a, it's a goddamn, it's, a, it's hereditary, you cop suck. Um, yeah, I have essential tremors. I have to take pills for it, otherwise I shake like a like a like a guy that's a, like a Polaroid picture, like an alcoholic, I, I suppose. Um. Well, but, uh, no. When I fall asleep, I start to I start to shake, but that's why I know I'm going to bed. Does that only and happen when I you go to sleep? sleep? If I, and, uh, yeah, I can fall asleep. Yeah, like like you said, I can fall asleep on cue. Yeah. I just know when I'm doing it. I what? just know when it, because I don't just start shaking. I'm just like, it's not like a, like I'm not like shaking like a, like I'm in a bounty house shake. It's just like a little tiny shake. I just know hmm. that, like, here What comes. triggers that? Um, your brain? Thank you. I, I'm, I've never heard of this tremors thing. That's why I was. I just don't know why it happens right when you go to sleep. That's what I'm curious. No, about. no, no. It's 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 an entire day thing. Oh. Essential tremors is. I have to take I, I have to take pills for it. That's not like an early onset of Parkinson's, is it? No, 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 no. Because uh, my grand my grandpa be my grandpa my grandpa has it, and then uh, one of my uncles has it too as well. Dean or Patrick. <sighs> So it's not, it's not, no, it's not bad. It's just, it's not big, otherwise I just, I don't shake like fucking, yeah, I'm not shaking like Muhammad Ali, anything like that. Yeah. I just have a little bit of a shake to me. I get it, yeah. I'm just concerned but, about your health, you know. <laughs> That's all. No, it's, uh, uh it, it, it's, it's good. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> It doesn't uh, impede any of my. Hey, we uh, all got If I don't take it, then yeah, then I'm shaking. Then I shake. Yeah, if I don't take it, then I shake a lot. Uh, we we all got to die from something, right? Yeah. Uh, if you don't so, if you don't stand for something, you die for nothing. That's a pretty good quote. Who, that was a good who, quote. Man. Who, yeah, man, huh? who who'd you steal that from? Ah, I, I just threw it out there. I don't believe you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. You're, I, the, you're, the, you're, the, you're the movie buff. Figure it out, motherfucker. Uh, I don't, I don't know. know. Do it out there. <laughs> I don't know. My mind didn't uh, didn't catch it. Because you're not on that on it alpha brain? You know, 
I have been feeling kind of dragging lately, where I can't really collect my thoughts, and my recall is down, but I don't want some kind of stimulant that'll keep me up like caffeine. If only there was some something that was good for my health, that was affordable, that could help me in all these specific areas. You ignorant slut. It's called <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, is there a... Yo, I, there's an applause button that I hit, so... I heard, I heard, uh, I heard a clap, but yeah. that was that was me live. But there's one that you'll hear. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ignorant slut! Oh, you ignorant slut! <sighs> I uh, I said that to Scott the other day. Mm. We were mm-hmm. talking, uh, we were talking fights, uh, UFC stuff, and a couple fights coming up, and he picked, he picked somebody. Uh, over who I think and I was like you're a nigger what what did he say like I've been called fucking better <laughs> of course of course you know here's another thing about Scott beep and we're back <laughs> well I saved one edit for the last one, so that was our... We, we, we fucking, we got, we got pretty, we, he, he got pretty defensive about him thinking he was in better shape than I was today. That happened really today? Defensive. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like, right before we started doing the podcast, like, that's why hmm. I was like, 1130, I gotta fucking, I gotta calm fucking down, I gotta calm him down. Wow. Like, he wasn't just trying to get under skin, like... Well, I was just joking around, and uh, he, like, well, I ran a three, I ran a three, I ran a five k. Like, so he ran three miles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and when was that? When did he run that? When was that? Was Do you have a year on that? I, and then I threw. I was like, you can't. I was like, well, you want to do a, you want to like run like, a, and, and I threw out. I said, I said two miles. I was like, you want to run two miles in the spring? He's like, well, why do you want to run two miles? I was like, because you got, because you got a bout with a gout. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> wow. I mean, and then we kissed and made up, but. <laughs> mm, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you just got a little bit defensive that you know, yeah, you know, he's in his forties, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're still. You could lap him. I don't think there's any doubt about that. On the oh, record. Jesus. Jesus, yes. I, I mean, can, I I can, I, yeah. for the record, I haven't really seen him run that often. But, I mean, honestly, look, here's here's a not well-kept secret. I'm not in the best shape of my life, you know? But uh, I'm a big guy, and that's, I always have been. You know, I'm built big. What? I know. I know. Spoiler alert, listeners. <laughs> I'm a big yeah, guy. And if you're listening to this, fuck spoilers. You know, fuck you and your spoilers, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Fuck spoilers. Fuck you for being, yeah. I agree. Yeah. No, but, um, yeah, I've always been a big guy. So, like, when I put on weight, it's tough because, like, I'm built big. So I'm built to, like, handle it. So, like, I can I can kind of bulk up, you know, and just be like, yeah, I still look fine. You know, I still look big like I am, you know. The problem is when you lose weight, like, you can tell, but it's still like, yeah, but you're still a big guy, you know? So you're kind of at that apex. But that's not where I was going with that. What I was saying is, even though I'm not in the best shape of my life, I feel like I could probably beat Scott at a race. Just because, like, I'm I'm pretty fast for a big guy. I'm pretty pretty agile. Um, you know, I have I have good get-off. I have a lot of quickness. You know, I don't, I don't have long speed, but... Yeah, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about, now we're talking about long speed. Right, which I don't have. But, I mean, not necessarily. But, like, if we're talking just like a sprint, oh, I bet I could fucking beat Scott. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sprint, no yeah. Doubt. Yeah. I mean, I have a bad, you know, I got a bad wheel, but I could still do it. You know? So does he. He's got a bottle of gout, you know? Yeah, I guess so. I I could fucking, I could out. He's got to it, this, is, this is the one podcast. Like, he doesn't even know what a podcast is. 
Because I was telling him about it, and he's like, yeah, I don't really know. I don't even know what a podcast is. And I was like, you know, that's like the number one response I get. Because I don't really necessarily love telling people that I have a podcast. But then when I do, almost all of them are just like, yeah, and what, what is a, what is the pod, what is a podcast? You have a... I don't really know what that, where, where do you find that, you know? And you're like, yeah, just forget it, you know? It's, 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 it's 1980s for talk radio, man. Yeah. It's just, that's what I tell them. It's just a radio, it's a broadcast, it's on the internet. And it's not live, you know? But it might as well be, because I don't edit. <laughs> Funny. I, I, I like like listen to podcasts mellows me the fuck out sometimes, you know? Yeah, no, that's normally what I do. I I in my car that's all I'll listen to is podcasts. Let's do a rundown. Oh, wait. Um why did I say whatever. Um Chris Zimmerman, he is a guy who did a podcast for a long time. Two of them that I was listened to and I uh I tweeted at him just saying that I liked his podcast, and he asked me if I wanted to come on it. And since he's called me his original fan, um, he doesn't really do the podcast anymore. He switched over to YouTube and does like YouTube stuff now. Um, and whatever, uh, it's good. Still, it's just not the same as you know. Plus, I'm a lot busier now, so I don't have as much time as I used to have. Like I used to consume content like nobody's business, chief. But anyway. Um, he was like, he was like the first, but well really the only one that I was like tweeted at. Hey, I like your podcast, and he was like, "Thanks, um, come on it, and like we'll make you a, a little celebrity." And I was like, "Holy shit!" And then that kind of sparked me. Like I told him on one of my call-ins on his podcast, I said when I started this, I was like, "Yeah, after doing yours, I was just kind of like, you know, I could do a shittier version of that, and uh, that's what I've called this show." <laughs> but. Um, yeah, so sh- definitely shout out to him. Otherwise, like, I-, I started where a lot of people start with Mark Marin's What the Fuck. Um, oh, yeah. WTF. Still listen to that. Yep. Not as much as I used to, but um, still do that. Then, I don't know, just kept, just went down the rabbit hole. There's so many out there. Like, now oh, my yeah. favorite one's probably You Made It Weird uh, with Pete Holmes. Uh, I listen. Oh, I Made It Weird. What? Yeah, I made it weird. The, sh- the name of Pete Holmes' podcast is, quote, You Made It Weird, end quote. Oh, I thought you said I made it weird. I'm no. like, not I made it weird. Right. So I that's like, like yeah, I do too, and I love his podcast. <clears throat> it's my favorite. You, you watch, uh, you watch uh, that show on HBO ever? Crashing? Yeah. I haven't gotten to season two. Is it out yet? Is season two out? I think it's. I better check. I saw all of season one, obviously. Um, and yeah, I loved it. I think it did. Yeah, that was great. That was a fucking, that was hilarious. Yeah, and that's like a lot of his life, which is awesome. Like, not like true to life, but like obviously based on his kind of shit that he's gone through, which is pretty dope. So it's like cool to like hear the real, like the real story of his over and over on his podcast. He doesn't like tell it every time. But then, like, to kind of see it played out like that was cool. How I found Pete Holmes was when he had his talk show uh, that came on after Conan because I randomly just became a big Conan fan for a while. And then there was just this show. Conan was was the best. Yeah. No, I I still think... I remember remember watching Conan back in, like, 1996. Yeah. No, I still think he's... You know, the best. Lately, I do like Kimmel. I've liked, I've started to like Kimmel quite a bit. And Fallon is, eh, you know, his, he does a lot of fun, dumb, like, it's like really boring. Like, not boring, but it's like mind-numbing TV is basically what Fallon is. With his, here's like, thing, silly little games and shit. He, 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 he fucking laughs at, at all his jokes. He's a Millennials host. Can we yeah. say that? We can say that. <laughs> and, yeah, the rest of them are whatever, but... I don't know why I went... Oh, and then, yeah, so Pete Holmes had a show. I started watching his, and I loved his show. I thought it was super interesting and weird, but it was only on for, like, two seasons and then got canceled. But he had talked on his show about his podcast a couple times, so I had always kind of known about it and then uh, started listening to it. Um, 
And there's a bunch of other ones I listen to too. What are obviously you said Joe Rogan? Yep. Is that your go to? Uh, I got a couple go tos, but yeah, Joe Rogan's my go to because he, he, he brings on. Uh, you you would think it would just be all about mixed martial arts, but he brings on like experts for other shit. You know? Yeah. Uh, flat Earth, you know. Joe Rogan had a great WTF episode too. A what? Did you ever listen to it when he went on Mark Maron's show? Joe oh. Rogan, yeah, that was a great episode. You ever listened to it? Up. It's good. They address like the some of the Carlos Mencia stuff, and then I went oh. to yeah when he called him out, and then that was like oh, he did, and then. uh yeah, and then, like, there were subsequent episodes where, like, and then a good a double feature of the WTF would be Joe Rogan's and then um, Carlos Mencia's WTF. They're good. That's a, That'd be a good, if you're out there, whoever. Joe, Rog- Joe Rogan fucking ruined Carlos Mencia's career, but actually huh? Carlos Mencia ruined, ruined his, his own career. career. Yep. Yeah, and he was, like, getting preposterously big for a while there. Oh, yeah, he was huge, right, like, right after uh, Chappelle left, yeah. uh, you know. All of a sudden, Mind of Mencia. Yeah, because well, yeah. yeah, I remember when I was a kid watching Comedy Central when I shouldn't have been late at night, it was, like, you all, all like, Chappelle show, and then when Chappelle show left, it was, yeah, Mind of Mencia. And it was huge. And it was, like, I even and remember being a kid and, like, one of the jokes... Yeah, like, the big joke, I remember him saying, like, you know, Bush keeps talking about putting up this wall, but I'm like, but who are you going to build it for you, you know, out of Mexico using Mexicans to build it, that was the whole joke. But was it Ari Shafir said it first? Ari, yeah. I think it was Ari who said it on a Comedy Central Presents, Um, and then, like... A couple, what, a couple weeks later? And then, like, you just go down the rabbit hole of Mencia stealing fucking jokes from, like, Cosby and shit. Which, like, now you laugh at. But, like, Cosby at one point was, the was like, on the Mount Rushmore of stand-up comedians. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, you know, the, the look past the, the rape, you know. Yeah, and the drugging. Cosby was a huge thing. <clears throat> and the you drugging. Know? Well, yeah, rape and the drugging, and yeah. and the, the jello pudding, you know. And the jello, I can't, uh, can't do it. Yeah, no, nah, nobody can do a. I mean, I mean, somebody can do a good Bill Cosby jello pudding, but <laughs> in, in the in the in the jello, yeah, yes, I can't, I can't do that. that. Yeah, I, can't. I want that to be the whole podcast. I was just like giving up on Cosby impressions, going. It's, yeah, no, I, I really shouldn't do it. <laughs> but, but, uh, oddly enough, though, um, we used to, uh, in our 20s, in the early aughts... Bringing it back, yeah. We used to bring it back. We used to, we used to do impressions. And uh, what we would do is I somebody do would do an impression of somebody, and then, and then they'd call out the other person and say, okay, you do an impression of this. And mm. a lot of it was... <laughs> it was Bill Cosby. <laughs> Do Bill Cosby. All right, Rudy, come over here and let me suck your dick. <clears throat> it's filthy Cosby. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, let's edit that one out. Uh, uh, let's read. No, we're out of edits, Cal. I've already told you this. Damn it. Uh, I can do Rudy, impressions. Rudy, Some. Rudy, come. Come over here and suck my dick with the jiggle no, pudding. Stop. No, Kyle, we're not. That's not a. No. <laughs> if I could do. If I. It, I I can do some impressions. And they're not that great. But. Uh, <laughs> if I could just choose one to do, it would be a Christopher Walken. Because he's my favorite actor of all time. Like. Really? Yeah. Like. I mean, he just is, like, I just, every time I see Christopher Walken, I'm just like, fucking A, man. Um, can, 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 are you going to do a Christopher Walken? No, that's what I'm saying, like, I I would give up oh. a significant amount of my, whatever I own, to be able to do that. I, I do know a guy that can do a pretty good Christopher Walken accent, actually, or, uh, impression. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. 
it uh it's pretty good it it's really good actually if only I can do like an oak I can do a shitty Bob Dylan um that one's an easy one you can do a shitty Bob uh, Bob Dylan impression yeah it's like it's that's an easy one though throw it out there do you want to hear it It is late, so I don't know if it'll be you know, quite on point, but it's something like Like a rolling stone. That's terrible. That's yeah, terrible. I told you it was bad. <laughs> I preface that by saying it's not good. It's not good at all. Yeah, you're <laughs> You're on your own. Like yeah, a rolling no, stone. You, you, you're on your own. Like the Jello pudding. I can do a, I can do a, um, Keith Urban. Who? That was a joke. Uh, and, and all I can do is Keith Urban. That's it. That's it. I have to say his name. Keith, Keith Ur- Urban. Keith Urban. Keith Urban. Right, so it's Keith Urban here. That's a pretty good Australian accent there, buddy. That's one of my good ones. I can kind of I can kind of go off on, on those. I've practiced that one. I enjoy doing it. Because for the longest time, I couldn't do like a British accent. Like, f- forever. Until I had to do a British accent for a play I was in. I had to have one. And so, I just basically figured out how to do it i watched a show called the gates which would ran for like one season and there was this vampire on there who he like had just a very slight british accent like it wasn't super thick but just starting to imitate little things he did kind of helped me get a british accent for the play the canterville ghost was the play I still remember some lines from it. Um, um, go ahead, go ahead and do it. I'm them. trying to think of them. Um, okay, here's uh, here's one. I discovered two noisy girls in the kitchen. That was one. I had no, I had no idea what you just said right there. I said, I'll do it again, but I'll tell you what I said. I said, I discovered two noisy girls in the kitchen. Um, and then my thing was... Oh, I discovered two noisy girls in the kitchen. Oh, there you go. I can hear now. Yeah. Um, well, I don't remember all of them. That's like the main one that I remember. One was like, uh, Why am I here? What is this place? I was yelling a lot. It was a ghost. Well, isn't that mostly British accents? They're just yelling. Some. He's... He, Going to a coin, and it was more Australian. But you can have like no, yeah, you can no. have a quiet. Austin. That's now that's the hard part is because now like I I enjoy doing Australian accents, and so now my Australian accent bleeds into my British accent because they're so similar. Well, yeah, but that's where that's where the, the I know their, uh, the history. All right, we all know it, yeah. Kyle. Everyone who listens to this show knows the history. Right. Do they? Yeah. They do. <laughs> I, I get letters. You would not believe. We bring that up, and people are like, "We, yeah, we fucking know, mate. That's my cock. I can do a good cockney accent. I love that. Oi, I get you both your block, eh? The, the, the fucking hate mail you get. The hate mail you get from it. It's a lot. Yeah, it's bad. I mean, like, you wouldn't believe. I would just say... We'd say, da, 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 Australia. Hey, you know, that's where, they actually, the reason they sound similar is because they shipped their, you know, they had a prison there, and then, they, you know, they liked it, and then they stayed there. Um, yeah, people are like, call us, you know, wankers and all sorts of vulgar terms. And I, for one, do not contone that kind of that's language. That's wankers. We are wankers. Look, hashtag wanker nation. Get that trending. You know what I will say about your, if you're not claiming yourself as a millennial, I feel like your generation is kind of like the lost generation in my idea. It's like I have a good idea of like my parents' generation, 
and their parents, but like, you know, you're a little bit older than me, but you're not not quite old enough to like be my parent, you know, or what I would think of my parents' generation. So you lived your seminal years in a time when that was past my parents' seminal years. So you have a vivid experiences from that time, which I don't. And uh, I don't know. It's interesting to me because I don't know a lot of people that I'm friends with that are from that era. Three decades. I've been through three decades. Yeah. That's 30 years to you and me. Almost. Almost four. Damn near four. You seen some shit? But, uh, no, I agree with you on that one. Yeah, um, I'm not a millennial. I'm just going to put that out there right now. Uh, I can't stress that it's not. <laughs> well, we did do the not research. Not a millennial. And For the people at home listening, uh, I'm not a millennial. Well, you know, we did the research, and mm-hmm. kind of test results are in, well, you know what I mean? Be- be- because the internet says it's true, it's true. I mean, come on. Because those two demographers said so. I forget their Fuck names. Those guys. Yeah, but. because because they're professionals and they're whatever. They're, yeah, that yeah. is why. Yeah. Whatever you're gonna say, yeah. that's the reason. <laughs> yeah, they're they're, they're 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 professionals and they're whatever. The but fuck I feel like part are. of the reason why I think you're the lost generation is because you you have a daughter now, but your daughter isn't old enough. To be at the point where you say, well, hey, back in my day, or, you know, when I was your age, oh, you know, when, you know, like, I feel like that's when you start to get a uh, feel for what that generation was, where I feel like the people around your age are just starting to have kids and kind of start that whole transition. So then they're exiting, like, living their life, and then they're kind of chain transforming into looking back and now their life isn't about themselves anymore it's about their family and the next generation so they stop like living life as fully as they were and slowly start to become a hollow version of their former selves you know (laughs) (laughs) I can smell it on you kid I'm losing you Kyle (laughs) Fuck you. Yeah, I'm glad we're out at it. Fuck you. Um, um, no, I, I, yeah, well, I can't, I, I can't disagree, I can't disagree with you on that one. Yeah. I, uh, well, I, I was, I was, uh, uh, late to the plate, you know, to have a kid, you know, I didn't have a kid until I was 34, so. How old were your parents when they had kids? Late to the plate to have a kid, so... How old were your parents when they had their first... I, uh, what's that? When they had your oldest siblings, how old were your parents? Oh, uh, my parents... Well, my oh, my brother... Oh, when they were... They were 18. When they were brother. Fuck, that's old school. I was, uh... My, my dad was 25 when he had me, and I'm the youngest, so... Right. I think my parents were, like, my age now. When they got married, but then when they had me, they were like 28, 30, around that age. <clears throat> yeah, see, it gets, it gets older and older every year. Yeah. And then, uh, my, in, my in-laws, they're, they're, they're obviously, they're, they're not going to listen to this podcast, so I can just yeah. say it, you know. Let's call them out. Yeah, let's call them out. I'll call they, out my they, grandpa. They, Fuck him, dude. They, Fuck you, Wilbur. They, 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 they want us to have another fucking kid. And, uh, no, that ain't fucking happening. <laughs> I didn't realize they had a say in that. Too. I'm, uh, I'm fucking 36 now. Um, so was, just, I was 34 when so was born, so when she graduates college, I'll be, or high school, I'll be 52, so. Yeah, no, not having another one. How old is Nikki? One and done. How old is your wife? Uh, she's 28. Great old Robert. Fwamp, 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 fwamp. You, you make fun of me for having a younger no. wife? 
<laughs> You're such a loser. <laughs> I know, right? Ah, what a piece of shit. We finally got him. There's finally something we can make fun of him for. <laughs> what a piece of shit he is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got him. We got him. We got good, him good. good luck trying to run for office now. 2020. Be yeah. the mayor of Colton, motherfucker. Oh, I mean. No, the mayor bleep. Bleep, bleep. Jesus Christ. Uh, that was a burp. Can we, can we, can, that was Come really, on. that was a really big burp. I'm sorry. It came out of nowhere. I can't, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't know the, what's my first podcast? Uh, yeah. No, not, we can tell. You know, no, we've yep. we've all been talking about it, and uh... who's we? Boy, <laughs> <laughs> you and I that are gonna listen to it tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's it. And you're gonna be like, "Yeah, I was drunk." That's what you're gonna be saying. <laughs> I should not have burped that loud. Hey. It just, it, no, it just I just opened my mouth and it burped, you know? Fuck you, dude. I don't, I don't know how burps work. Um, no, but I'm going to listen to it tomorrow and just think, man, I sound, like, so good. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I don't know why this isn't a thing. I don't know why my podcast hasn't taken off yet, you know? Because, because, because you never had me on it. could be. The See, you were you were all worried about you not sounding good when the people like I'm gonna be dragging out. No, you sound fantastic. Well, you sound like yeah. you, you sound like a podcast guy. No, we didn't. You know, you know, you know, you sound great. I'm a consummate professional, but I'm also not listening to this tomorrow. If I listen to it tomorrow, you know, maybe I'll think, oh, good, Luke should have should have should have gave in to the old should I, you know. Um, wow, well, we all should we should we all. Well, we probably both should have gave her into the shut eye, but I mean, fuck no. it. you know, no? we're not we're not getting okay. any, any younger, am I right? I mean, come yeah. on, man. <laughs> well, I'm certainly not. No. Last I checked, you're you're 22. You're you're yeah, young. Keep you're just, reminding just a kid. Me. Just a kid. Just a kid. I, I can't think. I can't think of someone who says just a kid. Yeah. When when you. We're young. Say oh, oh. The killers. We were young. <laughs> <laughs> that no, wasn't that wasn't yeah. a bit from that was I didn't just play a sound bite from the song. That was me actually singing it. Yeah, I know. That's why I hurt <laughs> my ears. <laughs> you screech pretty loud, there, guy. Hey. You screech pretty loud. I'm playing to the I'm playing to the back of the room. Got to project. Um, that's why. That's why we need to hire a guy. We need to hire a guy. Yeah. No. I'm all in favor for that. I just you know, it's the whole cash flow thing is kind of a bugger. Well, hold on, hold on a second. Now, now on it. That's something that's the world. I feel like. I'll pick up on this. Look. No, they won't. Number one. Number two. I feel like if Onnit's going to sponsor you, they need I don't know, a certain number of people to listen to your podcast on a regular basis. Right, right. Well, this is this is this is this is the new beginning. This is a new beginning. I'll just catch twenty two of them. I'll be like in um, in Boogie Nights at the end when Dirk Diggler's trying to get a record deal. You know, he's just like. No, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get in there and I gotta record, and th- and then and then once I record, then I'll have experience. And then there, he's like, "Yeah, but I'm not gonna give you a record deal because you don't have any experience." And then yeah, he was like, yeah. "He was like, this, this is what we would call a catch twenty two, gentlemen." That was it. That was the scene. But... So, do you think? Do you think that was Mark Wahlberg's dick? Or not? No, it wasn't. I've done Definitely my research. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, Jordan and I were, old legs and I were just talking about this the other day. I have this theory that I've never said publicly, well, not on the, not on the podcast public anyway. I have a theory that if a movie 
shows a real penis, a real cock, that it's no matter how good it is, people aren't going to like it because of that. Like, look at Watchmen. I think Watchmen is highly underrated. I think it's a great movie. What does everybody talk about in that movie? The Blue Dick. That's all anybody talks about. Is Dr. Manhattan's Blue Dick. Dick. Yeah. And but then, what about what about Wild Things with Kevin 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 Bacon's dick, dude? Not his real dick. Nothing. You, you ever watch it or what? No, I have not ever seen it. Jesus Christ! That that is Kevin. That, that that's got to be Kevin Bacon's dick. <clears throat> I haven't seen it. Uh, six degrees of separation, man. Walk hard has an elongated scene with a dick right next to Dewey Cox's face. And uh, and I think that's a highly underrated comedy. I love that movie. And a lot of people hate it. And I'm like, oh, because there's a dick in it. Django Unchained, fake dick. Boogie Nights, fake dick. And I haven't even heard of the movie you said, so it can't be that good. What? <laughs> Just, just you never heard of fucking giving you shit, cocksucker. That's Kevin kind of making a dick. <clears throat> well, I should hope so. Six degrees of separation. Everybody's dick is always six degrees away from Kevin making dick. I get it. I get it. <sighs> Everybody's dick is. Well, I think I think that about wraps it up because I have to take a poop before I go to bed but hey Kyle thanks for coming on thanks for doing the takeover you can find me on twitter at Luke Larson 89 this podcast at L2 podcast or L squared podcast on twitter or facebook we're on soundcloud here on spreaker youtube obviously wherever you're listening to it and uh Kyle where can people find you at 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 Kyle's 13 there he is. That's it. That's all we got. Kyle's a good follow. Uh, he tweets a lot of, a lot of insightful, meaningful, um, well thought out things. I really don't. Mostly just, mostly just nonsense. Yeah. You know that. I'm just trying to help you out, man. That's it. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, don't want that. I just, I just don't want the two listeners to be fucking disappointed. Yeah, it's you and me. <laughs> Peace. We both know where we I'm going to talk you into it a little bit, but uh, it was fun. It was good. Huh? I got, did you beat off my energy? Yep, I think it went, I think it went okay. Were you, were you, uh, as a kid say, woke? Is that it? I think that's the correct verbiage. That is the correct verbiage. Now I'm going to throw it back to the no. to the to the odds. No, we're done. I played the outro music. We're over. Oh, I did. Peace. Bye. Bye.